One of the things that's super freaking cool about Vim, oh my god, is the fact that you can talk to it kind of in the same way that you talk to a normal person using regular language. I know that makes me sound like a crazy person. I know I'm not talking about voice recognition, but um, still, when you figure out what I'm talking about, you will see just how boss ass it is. So get on over there and see. Okay, so you see this super embarrassingly simple JavaScript file I made to demonstrate the point. Oh, the things I do for you. Uh, so, you know how I was saying we can talk to Vim in a way we talk to normal people. Um, I know that sounds crazy, but you'll see exactly what I mean. So we can tell Vim, hey, you, we want to view inside these parentheses right here. And you see what just happened? We viewed everything right in there. When before, if you're just some stupid idiot using Notepad, I hope you don't use Notepad as a programmer because there's so many better things, even if it's not Vim. I mean, you'd have to hit, you know, You'd have to highlight and then go over several times, and that's dumb. That's just dumb. Instead, you can hit, like I said in here, view inside parentheses. All that's highlighted for you. You can yank it from there, and you can paste. You can have a ball. Uh, in addition to uh, viewing inside parentheses, you can also view around the parentheses, for instance. And that, you see, it also highlighted the parentheses as well. So if you ever need to get that, yank it, or whatever, you can do that. Uh, another thing you can do is, instead of just with parentheses, you are not just limited. You, you are not just limited to parentheses. Uh, you can also do this with, say, curly braces. So, view in curly braces, same deal. It also spans multiple lines like that. Um, the parentheses also does, along with these ones I'm going to tell you about. Curly braces, parentheses, we also have square brackets here. View in square brackets, or view around square brackets, boom! All right. Say, for instance, we uh, take a trip down memory lane here. You remember a couple of episodes ago, I talked about how you can press W while you're in normal mode or visual mode uh, to go to the start of the next word, right? Think about that for a second. We can also hit view inside a word, you see, and we just highlight all that word. It doesn't matter where we are in that word, it'll still highlight, you see? Very nice. We can also highlight all of one of those capital W words, you know, up to the next space. So B I capital W view inside that big ass word. And it'll also take all that. You can yank it. You can do whatever you please. Cause it's yours to command. You can do this with quotation marks, yank, uh, sorry, view in quotation marks, etc. All right. You think that's fast? You think that's cool? We're going to take it up even further, huh? We can, instead of hitting view in blah, 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 and then yanking and all that mess, we can just cut out the middleman. And instead of saying view in blah, yank, we can say yank in blah, blah, blah. So look at this. We can say yank in quotation marks, right? And then we can just go down here. Let's uh, go to the next line here. And you see that just yanked it right there. You saved yourself an extra keystroke. Think of it in the sense that if you're hitting, okay, view in shift quotation marks yank instead if you're cutting one of those down by one keystroke you're saving what 20 percent of the time yeah thomas you might say 20 percent of maybe like a second whatever shut up you're a dick no what it means is that if you're cutting down by 20 percent of something that you're doing hundreds thousands of times a day you saved yourself a chunk of time my friend so Go out there and press your friends because this will blow their minds if they don't use Vim. If they use Vim, they'll probably just be like, yeah, well, whatever. You didn't know that. But uh, hopefully your friends aren't jerks.